Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you a simple and fast technique for creating elven ears using the Puppet Warp tool in CS5. I'm going to open up the image I selected, and I chose an image on purpose which gives me a clear view of the ear so that this will be easy to see. I'm going to double click on the background layer, and I'm going to hit OK for the name and just let it have its default name. You'll notice what this does is unlock the layer. It just allows me to do more editing later on if I'd like. Now I'm going to go and choose my quick selection tool which is W on the shortcut menu same place as your magic wand and I'm going to paint in just the ear that I want to warp uh, now if you happen to gather some stray pixels when you're painting you can hold down on the alt key and paint them back over and it'll subtract them from your selection right now though I have the part of the ear that I want and maybe just a little bit of it down here as well Alright, so I could Puppet Warp directly onto the current layer, but I'm not going to do that because in the event I want to change it, I don't want to do any destructive edits on my original layer. So I'm going to create a whole new layer that just has the ear. And the way I do that is with my selection active, I hit Control J. And as long as you have those little marching ants selected, when you hit Control J, whatever was in the selection will automatically be transferred to your above layer by itself. So now I have a layer that is just the ear, you'll notice, and I'm going to warp that layer by itself. So with that layer active, I'm going to go to my Edit tab and Puppet Warp, and immediately I'll get this pushpin symbol and I'll get the wire framework for the Puppet Warp, and I'm going to create some anchors. These anchors are going to prevent my warp at the top of the ear from changing the shape of the bottom of the ear and it'll just help maintain a natural look on the bottom of the ear because really all we want to do is give a point to the top so now what I'm going to do is take this top point that I created and pull it up now if I hit enter you can see what I've done here and I could have pulled it quite a bit farther or less whichever you prefer but I've basically just reshaped only the top part of the ear and uh, here is our original here's our new now that of course can be refined and done uh, a lot smoother and a lot more precisely if you want to take the time but that's just a really quick and simple way to create the pointed elven ear look and you can make it as tall as you want the more you warp it the more the pixels will get stretched and so the more the sharpness of the image will probably be lost and the the um, resolution of the image is going to be affected a little bit by your edits so keep that in mind but have fun you can also do that the same thing with noses with mouths with uh, eyes and you can have a lot of fun warping and changing the way people's faces look so there you go elven ear in just a few minutes with the puppet warp on cs5